I have been playing with crayons and paper to create a texture plate, if you will, for gel press printing. The crayons and paper create a wax resist, and the results, I think, are fun and enjoyable and, of course, inexpensive and easy to create. I did a video on this previously and was asked to slow it down in real time, so I'm going to do that for you in this video. This is the masterboard I created from those prints, and of course the ATC cards or the artist trading cards that I used or created from that masterboard. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. This video is going to be a bit different, so I'm going to be quiet and take you to the real-time recording. I am stepping a little outside of my comfort zone, but I have been asked to do this wax relief with the gel press, slow it down, do it in real time, and make it a little easier to follow. So I am going to do that. I'm going to use these crayons that I picked up at a dollar store, and I am going to utilize an embossing folder a texture plate, a stencil, and a little piece of jute, and some leaves that I pulled off one of my trees this morning to kind of create some relief with that crayon. So let's just quickly choose one of these. Let's get a darker color so we can see it. We'll just start with this black. It's about as dark as you get, right? In the crayon pack and I'm going to tear the paper off of that because I want to get it to a point where I can rub with it um, in a horizontal or flat mode like this instead of coloring like that. So I'm just going to tear this paper off of it. Probably should have done that first but like I told you this is all new to me. I usually do my videos quietly and then edit them. So I have cut some paper and we will start with this stencil. I thought this bird might be a nice thing to see if we can duplicate on, on the gel press. So let's just go over the top of the stencil. And that crayon is breaking on me. So there you see our little bird being rubbed onto this paper. I don't know if there's enough definition there for that to make a big difference on the plate, but we'll see in just a second. So let's take next this embossing folder. This was the video that I did before that you want it slowed down. So I'm just going to use this crackle embossing folder because I I'm kind of looking for that as my background. I'm going to hold that paper tight and just rub across this embossing folder with this crayon. Now the theory here is this wax will form a resist on the gel plate. So where we put this wax down that paint will stay. It won't, we won't pull it off. So I'll show you here in just a minute what I mean. So let's play a little bit with this. We'll rub the little leaves. I'm gonna lay those down like that. Put this over the top of it. And take that same black crayon. And we'll rub over the top of those leaves. And that, you know, we're getting that. Oh, I had that leaf. I didn't use, well, no, I did. Okay, so I used the veining side. I thought that I hadn't at first, but I, but I did. So let's just see if we can create a little more relief with this string. And just where that string is, kind of create a little pattern there within that leaf. 
think that might be interesting. And I think I'm going to use on my these backgrounds on my Facebook page. Cindy has started a master board event, so I'll see if I can't use some of these on on a master board. Right, I like that. And the, that's the last thing we had. I think it was the texture plate. And I know that I had that over here. Where, where did I put it? Well, I'm not sure where I put it, so let's do this. Let's just make our own squiggles here. Some fractured circles. Okay. Now that just has, oh, here we go. That has me so perplexed. Where did I put that texture plate? It's right here. So I added something. I added just some, this is that texture plate. And this is just a texture plate that you can buy for your gel press. And there's so many things that you can you can find texture with. For example, here's just a little piece of, of um, drywall cloth. Let's take that on this. And look, look there at what you get. Pretty cool, huh? We'll just kind of create some of our own texture there. I like that. All right, so now it's time to get the paint out. I'm going to go with a raw ember. Ooh, and that's way too much. So let me pull this card, see if I can scoop some of that up, and we'll use it on the next one, but that's way too much. So you want just a light dollop of the dark paint. And I am putting that down lightly. And we'll start, and I think I have that covered well, we'll start with this one. And I'm pressing firmly to just make sure we get that resist with that wax. And I'm not sure I had enough paint down, but time will tell, right? Oh, I forgot this. Oh, no, I did do this stencil. Thought I'd forgotten a little bird there for a minute. Come back with this yellow ochre. And I just want a light coat. And let's see what this pulled. So there, you can see all the little fractured circles that we made. Here's your drywall tape. And that wax resists, so you can create your own texture or your own stencils or your own images or your own marks to pull up off of your gel press. So let's do the... Let's see what these leaves are going to look like. I'm kind of... Oh, and I forgot that I had paint out there. Let's just get a very light coat of this raw umber down. Clean that off and come back because I think that light coat is where we're getting our success. This is our leaves.
and I'm pushing with my brayer to make sure it comes into contact. And as I pull that up, I can see my pattern start to emerge. And let's take a yellow ochre. Got a bit much there. And you can see I'm cleaning my brayer because I think I have too much paint on here. So I'm trying to take that down to a thinner, finer coat before I do my pull. I want to kind of be able to see that image through. And I feel like there's too much paint over here on this side. I'm starting to see. Okay, I think we're good enough. And I think really the success of this comes down to the amount of paint that you use. Because I tried and tried and tried to do the magazine resist, and when it all came down to the final success rate, or when I finally began to have success with that, it was when I really reduced the amount of paint I was using. So there. And you can see where I got kind of heavy with the raw umber, but you can clearly define that leaf. I repeated that process with each of the textures that I chose. This is the result from the squiggles. This is the result from the leaves. And of course that crackle folder, I think give, or the embossing folder, that crackle embossing folder gives me one of the best prints, the texture plate, and again, more of the squiggles. This was fun, it's inexpensive, it's easy to do. I tore them, created this master board, and utilized the master board to create eight artist training cards. So I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you will come over to my Facebook group. The link is in the description below. And show me what you have done with your paper and crayons. Thanks for being here. Enjoy your comments. And I shall say bye for now.